Ladies and gentlemen, sorry about last night's upload. I have no idea what happened to it. I woke up this morning and it was on private for some reason. I checked to see if I got copyrighted on something. I didn't. I don't know what happened to it. Like I have no clue whatsoever. It just completely disappeared uh, for not only you guys, for me as well. No clue. Never experienced that before on YouTube whatsoever. But with that said, let's get into this video. But before we do, the giveaway winner for the MTBs, the mystery tackle boxes that we talked about a couple videos ago, will be down in the comment section below. I'm going to comment the name of the winner. So congratulations for winning that. DM me your information on Instagram. And let's get started in the video. Got him. Let's go! Oh, there he is. There, oh, there he is. There he is. Look at that game. Look at the game. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever come to Florida, please keep hands, feet, arms, legs, children, dogs away from the water. What's up, guys? It's TJ, aka Fishing with the Ag Pack, here today with my best friend, Fishing with Norm. And uh, we're going into exporting goods. I'm getting straight to the to the point in this video. We're cutting straight to the chase. They have a red uh, mystery tackle box in Dick Sporting Goods. Norm opened it on his channel. I'm sorry, Norm, I didn't watch that video yet. I haven't watched it yeah. yet, but I am subscribed with a notification bell on. That's good. As you should be to both of us. Yes. Now, like I said, they have a red mystery tackle box in there. I want to know what's in it. It's 40 bucks. Don't yeah. tell me what's in it. I want it to be a surprise. Yeah, we, we can get, there's different numbers. So there each is, box yes. has different things in it. Yes. So we can, I'll go back and look and we can buy the other box. So okay, perfect, both perfect. That's, that'll be perfect. So yeah. as we make our way inside of Dick's Sporting Goods, you guys are going to subscribe to this channel right here and you're going to hit this video with a fat thumbs up because it's free. It doesn't cost anything and it greatly helps other people find fishing with Yak Pack videos and even fishing with Norm videos. So yeah. with that said, Let's go spend some money so you don't have to unless you want to. We're locked on. I was on the target. I was on the prize. I have just recently done a video with the mother load and uh, Norm recently, I believe you bought every box, correct? Yes. Okay, so Norm unboxed every box on his channel, which again, don't yeah. tell me what the number was. If you don't mind though, if you don't mind really quick. Well, I, I, I should tell you what the number is so we yeah, don't get saying. it. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Look up on your channel real quick. Look it up. What I know it was either 99 or 98 because we did a spinning wheel for it. And okay. there's a box 94 right here. So I'm Perfect. pretty positive there it we is. didn't do it. Perfect. That we'll do 94. 94 it is. The box is. Here, bucks. can you hold that real quick? Can you flip it around? The box is $45. The $60 value and it says 9 to 11 items per box. Let's go buy it. Let's go bust it open. And let's go bust on some fish. Trying to bust on them today? I'm trying to bust on bussin', them. Bussing, bussing. We're here at the first spot. We've got our Elite Bass Fishing Mystery Tackle Box Kit. Nine to 11 items, $60 value. Let's uh, bust her wide open and see. There we go. Let's see what we got. It does feel very heavy. All right, box in a box. You know the deal, just like my mom for Christmas. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. $60 value. The box was $45. It comes with 9 to 11 lures. Oh, there's 15 bucks right there. Nine. Off the rip. There's 15. There's 7. Bruiser, man. What are these? Let's get up. Yo, do we bring... Okay, you got the rods. Yeah, the rods are in the truck right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I didn't remember. <laughs> oh, I just broke one. That's not good. That's... We'll throw you back there, bud. I pulled on the, the thing too hard. I was trying to separate the... That's going to have good action on it, I feel like. Heck yeah. That looks good. I like the color too. The green pumpkin with the gold in it. All right. I don't know how much that costs. I have no idea. Sneak attack soft swim jig. Okay. Okay. I get down with that. It's like a tilapia down where I'm at in South Florida. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thunder Hawk. They used to call me Thunder Hawk in high school. I know they did. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's cool. Uh, a swim jig. I don't really throw swim jigs. I, I think I honestly would probably be one of the best lures in the box. You think so? For okay. Here. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. What do we got? A Jinko, Jank, Janko, old Janko. Uh, it's a square bill, so I like the color. How deep does it dive, you know? Uh, 69 feet. Oh, okay, cool. Probably, it says three quarter ounce. I don't see a weight or a, um, if I had to guess it's a two to five foot. I mean, look at the bill. It's pretty standard. Yeah. Two to five foot. Then we have this monstrosity right here. The double plopper. What's the odds I break my PB on this, Norm? One in 100 million? <laughs> yeah, zero, <laughs> zero odds. Wow. And then we've got some Weston Shad Tees. I like these baits, dude, but I don't know about that color. Yeah, I know. Hey, the, I peacock, know the peacock bass down south will definitely eat these. Yeah. But I don't know about a largemouth in Tallahassee. Yeah, I'm not really sure either, to be honest with you. And then we got to say uh, a dope little bass sticker right here. Sick. Now that we've got the box unboxed, it is time. I almost broke my rod. It's time to go fish. Hopefully my hand 
it's not jacked up too bad. It still hurts like a mother but <laughs> it should be good let's hope it's good all right that i'm gonna tell you guys right now i didn't mean to speed past that but this um 60 dollar value uh, one million percent that's over 60 bucks like that's am i wrong or uh, like no you're right you're right that's some good goofy. stuff that's like 20 bucks by itself i know it's goofy it is i agree it's goofy watch somebody in the comments they're gonna be like, i caught a 12 7 yesterday on the thing i have fished with it before it looks good coming through the water like literally it's I think it's actually a good lure. It's just unconventional. 15 for that. Yep. So you're also here. Come this way because you're really dark. There you go. Now you look oh, okay, better. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this, I'm going to tell you guys right now $60 value. It says around a $60 value, which means some boxes could be more, some could be less, some could be right at 60 This yeah. one, uh, we probably got lucky with box 94, but this one uh, was phenomenal. This absolutely is worth $60, 100%. So with that said, the only tackle we are allowed to use in this video is from this box right here. So let's get rigged up and let's get to fishing. Look at that gator, look at the gator. Did you know there was a gator in here? You see it? Uh-uh. He's on, uh, in between this tree and that, or he's right past that second tree. Oh yeah, I see him, yeah. dang. I didn't know there was a gator in here. What the heck? I mean, it's, it's, it's Florida though, so. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ever come to Florida, please Keep hands, feet, arms, legs, children, dogs away from the water. Because you never know where there's going to be an alligator. Got him. Got him. Oh, let's go, go, Norm. We're on. We're on. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's go, baby. We, Guys, bro, we fought so hard to get that fish today. <laughs> yeah. We've been to like multiple different ponds and finally caught like a little squeak uh, on the little craws that came in the in the thing. So yeah. that is epic. It's been, a, it's been a slow day, but this overcast might help us a little bit. The storm's rolling in. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was actually my second cast here at the New Pond, so. Let's go. Let's yeah, big go. storm, by the way. Big, big giant storm. <laughs> Got him away from the gate. Oh, where's the gator? He disappeared because he, oh, no. <laughs> he, he heard you catch a fish. He disappeared because he heard you catch a fish. I'm going to take a couple steps away from the bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would bum rush the bank. I'll beat up a four-foot alligator, though. Maybe not. I'm going to walk over here, though, so if you catch something, just scream and I'll start running. Here's an alligator trail. I should definitely walk down this. Bro, I'd be so mad if an alligator come rushing at me. Got him. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Norm. There we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Freaking slammed it, dude. I need another one of those crawls. He literally just shook it off. Yep. Thank uh, you. There we go. There you go. All right, I'm going to go whoop, against the pads. You've caught two already. Yeah. All right. I'm, like, literally, I'm, they're falling right. all the way up. <laughs> I'm about to go hit this drain real quick. All right. Where at? Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. There, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, God, he hit it so freaking hard. Oh, he's stuck on the tree. He's stuck. Oh, he's on the tree. <laughs> no, he's on the tree. There's a fish stuck on the tree right now. Come here. Please come here. Please don't do this to me. I'm not going out there. There's an alligator that lives in here. This fish is stuck on the tree. Is he still there or is he gone? Hopefully, he, get, he got off. I did definitely just catch fish, but I hope he's not on that tree. I'm not going to get that, dude. I mean, there's only one gator in here. Well, I, until he's right here at my feet when I go to get in. That fish is off now, I think. At least he got off. At least he's not stuck on a tree forever. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. He's still, he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. If this was a muscle rod, it could, I could pull it. But damn, I'm going to have to break this, dude. There's no way. Hopefully, when I break it, he shakes it. But it's all right. Did he shake it? Oh, he shook it. Dang, that's so tough. He jumped. When I set the hook, I guess he he jumped into the tree, it looked like, and it like wrapped itself. That's so tough. <laughs> Third fish of the day though, first, well actually first for me, I, I didn't touch it though, so I guess it don't count, it didn't touch the bank. I just saw lightning over in the distance, look, you got clear blue sky right there and that big storm moving in, that's kind of sketch. That's, uh, that's gonna be a doozy. Let's go, baby. On that crawl. Come here. Oh, he's in the. Oh, get out here, baby. Get out hey, that crawl. Whoa. What came in hot? That crawl is killing them, dude. I mean, that sucks that they're small, but hey, we worked hard for these small fish. Hey, the, the small bass are hardest to catch. They got small mouth. That's true. You got to have the most skill to be able yeah, to set the exactly. hook. Yeah, there we go. We got a big one. We just wouldn't be skillful. Exactly. That's why we're doing that. <laughs>
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna bring this video to a close. Unfortunately, my hand started to hurt really bad. And not only that, but we have a massive, like look at the beautiful blue skies back there. And then look at this hurricane tornado coming in right here. We just checked the radar and it's gonna get nasty. And we knew that, we checked this morning and we knew it was gonna yeah. get nasty. We we're just trying to catch enough fish and beat the storm, but we did catch fish. You caught yeah. three, I think, and lost a big one right there. Yeah. Right? And I caught those two and then yeah. I mean we did all right, dude, in the yeah, in the dude. ponds when it gets super hot. The Especially fish are not with about like it. we, we didn't go lake know. fishing though. We'll have to go the next couple times lake yes, fishing. Yes. That's where we get on the big bags. Absolutely. Pond fishing in the summer, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. Spring and fall, yeah, but ponds yeah. in the summer they just get so hot and they just don't want to eat. Yeah. And we also did good with a box that we didn't know what was gonna come inside of it. So those yeah. crawls killed it today though. I tried to yeah. start out with those two. I threw the banger, the Guggen banger, and then I threw that Janko crankbait. Uh, Norm threw the swim jig and the trailer to one of the things in this box and then what ended up working was something slow on the bottom next yeah. to the grass line and it ended up being those crawls. But anyways, thanks again for watching guys. I love all of you. We'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Peace. Peace.